Hello and welcome. By the end of this video, you'll be able to edit text very quickly inside Vim. To do this, we only need to focus on two directions, horizontal directions and vertical directions. We're going to be starting with the vertical directions because there's a little less to it than the horizontal directions. The first step to moving up and down is basic scrolling, and it's actually very simple. We're basically just going to be using Control D and Control U to move up and down by half the width of a screen. This is actually much better than moving a full screen as it's easier to orient your eyes as you scroll through the document. But more commonly for a vertical direction, what we are going to want to do is what's called a line jump. In order to jump our cursor to where we want it to be, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to find the line we want to go to, we're going to look at the line numbers on the side of the screen, and we're just going to press line number GG. Line number GG is a great way to do line jumps if you are not using relative line numbers. For example, if I wanted to jump to line 25, I can just do 25 GG, and that puts me on the line exactly where I want to be. If you're using relative line numbers like I am, as you may notice on the side of the screen, you can simply just sort of target the line you want to go to. And then, for example, I want to move down six lines, so I'll do a 6J. I want to move up another 10 lines, I'm going to go 10K. With relative line numbers, you're not going to be using line number GG. You're basically going to be using the relative jump and J or K to move up and down. A pro tip, when you've actually landed on the line you want to be on, use ZZ. ZZ will center the line you're on onto the center of the screen. Let's say I kind of jumped my cursor to the bottom of the screen. Well, it's not very convenient to look all the way down there, so I can just quickly press ZZ, and that's going to move the line my cursor's on to the center of the screen. All right, just a recap. To scroll up and down, we're going to just use Control D and Control U. To do the line jumps, we're either going to be using the line number GG, or if we're using relative line numbers, we're just going to be checking how far we need to jump and using J or K to respectively move up and down. And that's all you need for vertical motions. Vertical motions is just about getting the cursor on the line that we want the cursors on. Before you go lubing up your keycaps, we're going to master the art of moving left and right. So we're going to be focused on the horizontal directions. Once you have the vertical and horizontal together, your movements will be complete. And we're going to keep this simple. So we're going to be starting with the basics, capital W's and capital B's. If you notice, capital W's is going to walk my cursor along a continuous line of text. You can almost think to it as jumping to the nearest white space. And if I use capital B, capital B is going to walk me back a continuous line of text. Now, this is a very basic and often very useful way of just jumping your cursor along the line. Now, if you use lowercase w's, you are going to jump to the next word, but it will also stop on special characters like punctuation, brackets, and stuff like that. W, lowercase w, and lowercase b, another viable method of just quickly jumping your cursor left and right. Now, for a little bit of a more target approach for horizontal movements, we're going to be talking about F jumps. F jumps is a very valid strategy for jumping. And here's sort of how it works. We're going to press F. We're going to press the character that we want to jump to. I'm going to choose a comma. As you notice, the character jumps to the first instance of that character and if i press the semicolon i can jump to the next instance of that character if i want to move back along that same jump i can press the comma key to do an f jump f the character i want to go to semicolon to keep moving and comma to go back it's a little bit better than the w's because you can target specific values you want to jump to Time for some advanced horizontal movements. 
we're going to be doing what I like to call pattern jumping. Now to do this, I'm going to be doing this example with a visual mode, but we're going to go into a little bit more detail on other ways to do this. For pattern matching, so if I do a VI quotes, you're going to notice my cursor jumps from the start of the line to right inside the quotes. And once I'm inside the quotes, I can pretty much do anything I can want. I can yank, I can change, delete. That's VI quotes. Now here's another example, VIB. VIB is visual inside block. VI quotes is visual inside quotes. If I do VI bra square bracket, I'll grab everything inside the square brackets. You might notice the pattern. It's a way of sort of jumping your cursor over a certain amount of text. Now, if I do a VI squiggly bracket, it's going to grab everything inside of here because if you notice, my cursor is actually inside of a method inside squiggly braces. Matching the pattern matching will match either inside or in front of what you're trying to match. If I'm trying to match the squiggly braces and I'm in front of the squiggly braces, I can do a VI squiggly and it's going to grab everything inside there. If I'm already inside, I can do a VI squiggly again. Same thing with the other patterns. If I go inside the quotes, I can do vi quotes and since i'm already inside it's going to match me inside now pattern jumping doesn't just work with the visual mode i was actually just doing that as a demonstration but let's say i did my cursor is going to be in front on this line here i'm going to do a yi quotes that's yank everything inside the quotes you'll notice my cursor jumped into the quotes and if i go and paste it's going to paste what I pulled from the quotes. Now let's say I wanted to grab the quotes with it. I can do a VA quotes. That's going to be visual around the quotes. I can yank that. I can paste that here. I can do a YA quotes and that will, as you can see, also grab everything around the quotes. So that's just a little example of what I like to call pattern jumping. Another important concept is the jump list. Every time you jump your cursor away by a certain amount of lines, it's going to be added to what's called the jump list. To quickly move between the jump list, all you need to do is press Control O and Control I. Control I will walk you forward and Control O will walk you back amongst the jump list. Now this is super useful because when you, when you jump your cursor to another part of the document and you want to quickly move back, you can just use the jump list and press Control I or Control O. Star searching, another useful pro tip. So if I move my cursor to this word right here and I press the star key, what's gonna happen is the word that was under my cursor is going to enter into a search command. If you look at if you look at the bottom of the screen, you're gonna see the word is sort of uh, in between some slashes at the bottom of the screen. Now that that word is inserted into the search, I can press N and keep jumping to the next instance of that word in my document. And if I want to jump backwards, I can press capital N. I can do a shift N to jump backwards and to jump forwards. If you want to find another instance of the word in the document, you can put your, you can put your cursor over the word, press star, and it will jump to the next instance of that word. Now there's another way to do this type of search, which is using the forward slash command. If I do a forward slash and start entering the text I want to search for, I can enter the full text, press enter, and that's also going to enter the text into the search. And I can just continue with N and shift N to walk forwards and backwards. That's the forward slash searching and using the star over the word itself to do the searching. And that is literally all you need to know to quickly move around your document. If you can combine 
a horizontal, a vertical movement and a horizontal movement, your cursor is going to be exactly where you want it, or you just might to do one or two extra jumps. Please consider liking and subscribing if you found this video useful. You can catch me on Twitch. You can join our Discord. And you can catch us, of course, on YouTube.